Hey guys, here's another step for the movie poster series. Continuing with our poster series, we have been adding makeup to Tomiko here, and we are going to forward with that by softening her skin. Now this is usually much more effective with a higher resolution photo such as a headshot, but the subtle effect here is going to be enough. So as you've noticed, I've created a makeup folder. It has a lipstick and eyeliner. We're going to keep that going because we really want to keep everything separate and organized. I do have tutorials on how to do this in this movie poster series. Click on the head layer and we're going to duplicate it. Command or Control J. Rename it, call it Soft Skin. Now we're going to move it into the makeup folder and make sure it is below all the other makeup. Now we're going to go to Filter, Blur, Surface Blur. And we want to keep the radius really subtle. So radius at 2 pixels, threshold at 6 levels. The threshold changes depending upon the quality or the size of the image. Now we're going to filter again, blur, and smart blur. Let's find the face. And we want to keep the radius and threshold really, really, really low. 0.1 to 0.2 pixels. That's a very subtle effect that helps kind of uniformly blur everything so it doesn't look awkward or out of place. But we still have a little bit more work to do with the picture. We don't want everything blurred. We don't want the hair blurred and certainly don't want the eyes or lips blurred. So grab the eraser tool, set the size to something acceptable to get through the eyes and the lips. And very simply, erase the area of the lips. And you can see that the detail comes back and her lips pop out the way they should. And we'll do the same with her eyes. And the nice thing about this is because I'm erasing the blur on the blur layer, it makes the eyes pop out much more and become more noticeable. And now we make our eraser brush larger and we erase the blur around the hair. That way it gets its detail back. Be careful how you do the detail and be sure not to get the eraser anywhere near her skin. And now the last thing we want to do is change the opacity of this layer to 75% so the effect can be a little bit more subtle. So the before and after doesn't really show on YouTube the effect, but you will definitely be able to see in Photoshop. I encourage you to try this on Photoshop or pictures that are strictly faces. So in the next couple of tutorials, I'm going to show you a couple of techniques on how to improve and change hair.